Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study two small topics. First is how to handle unknown exceptions and second is the try except else clause in Python exception handling. So first, how to handle unknown exceptions. So in the previous video, we have seen that when we write a try block and we know what kinds of exceptions might occur then we write one except block corresponding to each of the known exceptions. But what if you did not think of a particular exception and that particular exception occurs apart from the zero division error or the value error. Say a data type exception occurs, the data uh, type entered by the user is wrong then in that case none of these except clauses will be able to handle the occurring exception that is thrown so to uh, handle such precaution to handle such cases when you also want to specify some exception handling code for those exceptions apart from the ones already specified you write a precautionary except clause and you do not specify any exception name in front of it you only write the colon and you write the code that you want to execute when any exception other than the named exceptions occurs in the try block okay so this last except clause will prevent any abrupt termination of the program when no except clause matches the exception that has been thrown by the try block okay so if the try block uh, leads to a zero division error then the first except clause will be executed if the try block uh, causes a value error then the second except block will be executed and if any other kind of exception is raised in the try block then the control will directly transfer to the last except block so this except block that handles all other exceptions will be written after all other except blocks that specify the name of the exception. Okay. The next part is the try except else clause in Python exception handling. So the else clause can be used to execute those statements which must be executed when none of the except block gets executed. So what do we mean? That suppose you have written a try except block and there are multiple exceptions that might occur and you want you have also specified multiple except cases multiple uh, exception handler codes for each of the named exceptions but you also want some code to be executed when none of these except clauses gets executed so when the try block executes successfully and no exceptions are raised in that case you can use the else block and this else block will only be executed when no except block gets executed that is no exception is raised okay so let us again consider the same integer division program if we have a numerator variable which has the value 50 and we are accepting the value of the denominator from the user and we are calculating the question now if the denominator entered by the user is zero then the zero division error will be thrown and this except clause will be executed otherwise if a value error occurs that means an incorrect value has been specified then the second except block will be executed but if no such error occurs and the all the statements in the try block get executed then the else clause or the else block will be executed so the else clause is optional it is written after writing all the except blocks and it will only be executed when no except clause gets executed okay so this was all for today's video these were two important concepts that you must remember that how to handle unknown exceptions and how to execute some code uh, which uh, which will which you want to execute only when the uh, try block execute successfully all right in the next video we will be studying about the finally clause in python exception hide handling so say, stay tuned to our channel for more videos thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam